Article 253 of the Revised Penal Code is your giving assistance to suicide. There are two acts that are considered as giving assistance to suicide. Number one, if you are going to assist another person to commit suicide, whether that suicide is consummated or not, then you would be liable under Article 253. Number two, if you are going to lend your assistance to another person to commit suicide to that extent that you are doing the killing yourself, then you will be liable under Article 253. What is the meaning of giving assistance to suicide? It means that you are going to furnish the person, that person who is about to commit suicide, the means or whatever manner of positive and direct cooperation. Bibigyan mo ng baril, bibigyan mo pa ng, ng kutsilyo, or bibigyan mo ng poison, o di kaya lalo mo pang ini-encourage, bibigyan mo pa ng suggestions, yung iba sa inyo maaring magbibigay pa ng mga link sa internet, then that is considered giving assistance to suicide. Take note, however, that the person who commits suicide is not criminally liable. Wala siyang criminal liability. Sino lang ang may criminal liability? Only the persons assisting him or her. Bakit walang criminal liability yung taong magpapakamatay? Ano ang sinasabi ng batas? Because we considered said person as an unfortunate being. A wretched person, more deserving of pity rather than of penalty. So take note ha, walang liability yung taong magpapakamatay. But next year, if you are not going to make it, if you are not going to pass the bar exams, please lang, do not commit suicide. Your life is very precious than the bar exams. Alam kong the pressure is very high. Yung iba sa inyo is anak ng justices, ng mga judges, or you are an honor student, or your family is counting on you. Pinagmamalaki ka na ng mga magulang mo, ng asawa mo. But if you are not going to make it this next year, please lang ha, do not commit suicide. Ang gagawin nyo is mag-aral ulit, mag-review, and you retake the bar exam again. How about along the way sa pagpapakamatay ng isang tao, an innocent third person is hurt or killed or property is damaged? Does that person who committed or who attempted to commit suicide, has he has, does he have criminal liability? Answer is no. He has no criminal liability. Bakit? Because according to Article 4, for you to be liable of your direct, natural, and logical consequences of your actions, you must be doing a felonious act. If you are going to commit suicide or if there is an attempt on your part to commit suicide, that is only an act. But it is not a felonious act. It is not punishable by law. Therefore, if there will be persons who will be killed along the way, or if there will be pers uh, persons who will be hurt along the way, or there will be properties who will be dam which will be damaged along the way, still you do not have the criminal liability. Let's illustrate para mas maintindihan lalo. 2012, number 12, bar examination question, MCQ. What is the criminal liability, if any, of a pregnant woman who tried to commit suicide by poison, but she did not die and the fetus in her womb was expelled instead? Choices are, first, that woman who tried to commit suicide is not criminally liable because the suicide intended was not consummated. Choice B, that woman who tried to commit suicide is criminally liable for unintentional abortion. Choice letter C, that woman who tried to commit suicide is criminally liable for abortion. Last choice, that woman who tried to commit suicide incurs no criminal liability for the result not intended. The answer here is letter D. She has no criminal liability. Again, ano ang sinabi natin? In order for a person to incur criminal liability for the result not intended, one must be committing a felony. 
An attempt to commit suicide is an action but it is not punishable by law. As the woman is not committing a felony, she is therefore not liable for abortion. Let's go now to euthanasia. The popular term for euthanasia is mercy killing. That is the practice of painlessly putting to death a person who is suffering from some incurable disease. But take note that if you are a doctor and you are going to resort to euthanasia for your patient, then your liability may be murder and not Article 253. Bakit? For Article 253 to come in, dapat it must be the patient himself who asked for the help of the doctor. Take note that euthanasia is not the same as lending assistance to suicide. Bakit? In euthanasia, it is the person who is doing the killing himself. In euthanasia, the victim is not in a position to commit suicide. Dapat, for Article 253 to come in, the initiative must come from the sick person as in he is requesting the doctor or the accused his assistance in the suicide. Kaya, if there is an affirmative act that, like for example, you will be shutting off the oxygen and that uh, shutting off is because of the request of the patient, then Article 253 is the crime committed. But if the initiative comes from the doctor or comes from any accused or offender, then the criminal liability is homicide or murder. 2011, number 55, bar question MCQ. On hearing a hospital ward patient on the next bed, shrieking in pain and begging to die, itong si Mona, she shut off the oxygen that was sustaining the patient, resulting in the, in the death of that patient. What crime, if any, did Mona commit? Choices are, number one, homicide. Two, murder, if she deliberated on her action. Three, giving assistance to suicide. And last choice is euthanasia. The answer here is murder. Bakit murder at hindi giving assistance to suicide? What did we say again? Dapat yung initiative must come from the sick person in order for Article 253 to come in. Another bar exam question, itong si Francis and Joanne, they are boyfriend and girlfriend. But their parents are objecting to their relationship because they are related. They are first degree cousins. But what they did do, they forged a pact in writing that they are going to commit suicide. The agreement was they will shoot each other in the head, which they did. But what happened, itong si Joanne namatay, but Francis survived due to medical assistance. Question, is Francis criminally liable for the death of Joanne? Answer is yes, Francis is liable. His act of shooting Joanne, although it was done pursuant to a solemn act, is nevertheless felonious. And according to Article 4, you will always be liable for your direct, for the direct, natural, and logical consequences of your felonious act. Moreover, the mere act of giving assistance to a suicide is a crime.